not gay if it's in a three-way unless there is direct shaft on shaft contact then we're honestly getting ourselves into a whole other topic here but this is how to get heterosexually laid part two what is up mortals I'm the attack here and last video I left you guys with a little bit of homework to do now I know that most of my subscribers are not overachievers so let's assume that you guys got two out of the three things done uh, so now that all of you guys have taken a shower and found a solid group of bros it's time to give you guys the next part of your assignment well kind of like a covert ops mission just pretend I'm sliding you guys like a, a little pamphlet under the under the table and this is what you guys got to do next um, now this part guys is crucial I can't stress that enough because if you're unable to master this part uh, well you may as well just learn to love a man's body uh, that, that is assuming that the gays will take you now I know fuzzy Arterballs balls is very strict on, on who he will take in his gay culture but uh, we're gonna be focusing basically today on how to speak to the opposite sex as well as how to kind of lay down some smooth lines. Now, a lot of bros kind of get the wrong impression here. They feel they need to Google some absolute horseshit one-liners and try to use them to pick up women's. Guys, don't be ridiculous. No girl will ever fall for those lines unless she's Fuzzy Otter Ball's mom. Yes! My first mom joke in a video ever. This is a proud moment, guys. I'd like you all to remove your ball caps and stand for the singing of our national anthem. I'm not actually going to sing, but uh, as I was saying, the pickup line was meant to basically mock the dating scene and add some, some funny bits to horrible romantic comedies, so uh, I don't want you guys to mistake talking smooth uh, with using cheesy lines. Basically, what I meant by talking smooth is first, you kind of want to seem interested in what the girl has to say, even if you're not. Now, the best way to do this is basically think of a parrot. What does a parrot do? It kind of annoyingly repeats everything back at the person speaking. So when talking to girls, try and mimic a parrot, but make sure to only repeat certain things she says. Uh, for example, uh, whatever girl you're talking to says, Oh yeah, I'm stripping to try and pay my way through grad school to become a doctor. Yes, yeah, so a lot of girls said this to me, so I'm pretty good with this line. Um, so what yours and my mind want to repeat Yes, don't question me, guys. I know for a fact that we think alike. All male genes are the same. Uh, mine just got a few extra pieces of handsome as fuck sprinkled in. So what we want to repeat is the part about the stripping. Uh, you know, you want to get her to talk about about how she takes her clothes off for money. Um, no, guys, that's not what you want to do. So what you want to say uh, right there is exactly this. Oh yeah, grad school to become a doctor? And then you want to add some bullshit line that leads to another question about her. Bitches love to be the center of attention. Yeah, so what kind of doctor are you planning on becoming? Or something along those lines. Just enough to make her think you care about her feelings. And that will increase your chances of sleeping with her by 32%. Uh, the math has been proven. Um, I, you know, I want you guys to let that all sink in. No fuck ups in my class. This isn't really a class, but I guess it can be a class. If you guys want it to be a class, it can be a class, I don't really know. Private Joker kind of already does that thing. Alright guys, I want you to write this down too. The other thing we're going to talk about today is the means of actually meeting a woman. Now, assuming again you're in school, yes, yeah, school is a great place to socialize, but you can't exactly say, hey Susie, you want to be my lab partner? Oh, okay, sweet, now let's fuck. Uh, school is where you kind of like build your relationships. It kind of acts as a stepping stone to create opportunities to talk to these girls at uh, different venues. Now, I'm not saying take up ribbon dancing to talk to some broad, but when you're at a party and you see your lab partner Susie, just slip a little red pill under. I mean, go up to her and start a conversation. Hey Susie, whoa, class was tough today, huh? Yeah, I know. Wanna fuck sometime? Okay, well, we're not exactly there yet, guys. One step at a time, but you kinda, you know, get the idea. You wanna use uh, things that you kinda have in common and use that as a uh, starting point for the topic. Uh, the other way of kind of working your way in there with the ladies is by using the popular EMAC. Now, some see this as stalking, but I think I saw a commercial the other day saying that one out of five relationships start over the internet or something like that. It was on TV, so it must have been true. Uh, now for the EMAC, guys. You want to find a reason to add the girl on Facebook or MySpace. Um, don't just go add the hottest chick in your school and spam her every day. That is, a, that is a not a smooth move. Uh, <laughs> 
you, you find common topics to talk about start out with hey and then like compliment something that you saw her do but don't be like hey congrats on being hot as fuck love that skirt today especially when you bent over I mean, say something like, hey, that presentation you gave was great. I love the part where you blah, 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 pretend to be interested at that point. And, and guys, I promise your response from women will be 100 times better. Now, that statistic is really true. The other ones I gave you aren't very that true, but that statistic is true. Uh, well, guys, that sums it up for this episode. Uh, this series uh, you know, started out as like a one or two gig deal. Uh, but basically, I'm kind of planning on making it a secondary primary series on my channel, if that makes any sense. Uh, I never really realized how much there is to talk about and how much I can, you know, kind of give you guys some help, how much I can help you guys. So if you believe this helped you like a teensy little bit uh, and wouldn't mind giving me a like slash mostly a favorite um, slash comment because I love reading your comments, guys. I mean, I thrive on those, you know. It really gives me an idea if you enjoy the stuff I'm putting out. That would be absolutely lovely. But anyways, guys, till next time, I'm the Attack and I'm out.